Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully created our portfolio all page, right? Now I want to do, I want to create our ad page. That means if you want to add that portfolio, right now I have already created on the menu as a ad portfolio. First of all, I want to go to our sidebar. And to the sidebar, now I want to create another new route. Okay, I copy it and then that will be on the new route. And I just name it as a ad portfolio. So now I want to create as an ad portfolio. I simply copy it. Now if you go to our web, into this web, now I want to create another new one. So, okay, another new one. That will be another one as an ad portfolio, right? So now I name it as an ad and then portfolio. And our URL will be as an ad portfolio. I want to create another new menu as an ad. That is another method as an ad portfolio. So that is now that is our method we have to create in our portfolio controller. Now go to our portfolio controller into this portfolio controller that will be the new one better I want to do I want to name it as a public and then function and then our method name will be as a add portfolio here only we have to do we have to return on the view page right I want to do and to return on the view page better I copy it and then I paste it right now we don't need to pass any compact data. So that will be as a um, portfolio admin into this admin area. I have already created on the folder as a portfolio and now I want to create another page as a portfolio ad, right? Now I want to copy it. I want to create that our blade file in our portfolio folder. Now go to our view. Now that is our view in our admin. There is a portfolio folder. Now I want to create another new file and I just click as a save as and I just name it as a portfolio ad dot blade dot PHP. Okay, blade add dot blade dot php so that will be our portfolio ad page so the portfolio ad page will be just like our um, if you go to our about and that is our about page uh, yeah you can see there is about page there is also some of the description that will be just like that same that is our about page i want to copy everything from here so that is our about and that is our about page all you can see that is our about page also now i want to, to copy everything from here and now in our portfolio add here i want to do to paste it okay so now i want to customize it as per our demand so that will be not that about page that will be as a portfolio portfolio page which is totally fine now i want to update our portfolio name so that will be as a portfolio name and for the portfolio name here our field and then value we don't need any value because right now i want to insert that data only our form will be needed on the input field our name name i want to use it as per our database field name if you go to that is structure and i just simply you name it as a portfolio name okay so our field name will be as a portfolio name which is totally fine and our type will be text type and also I want to take another one as a portfolio title for the portfolio title I want to use it as a portfolio title I copy it then I name it as a portfolio title here we don't need to pass any value I simply remove this value our um, text will be needed our type will be as a text great and then another one another one will be as a portfolio description I copy it so after that that will be as a portfolio i name it as a portfolio description and also i name it as a portfolio description that is our input tag here we don't need to pass any value great so now that is a portfolio description and after that long description uh, so that is our text area another one is a long description so i want to do to take it into our long description area not that short description because here that will be multiple data i make it as a long description and that will be the portfolio description okay so right now we don't need this dev i simply remove it and also we don't need any value i simply remove it perfect perfect now our form will be loaded about image right so that will be as a portfolio image portfolio image our name i want to do want to use that our database field name as a portfolio image i copy it and then i want to do and to paste it so that will be our input field type as a file type id everything will be same only our default image will be visible here okay i want to do to make it as a clean right now i simply remove everything okay i simply remove everything only our url url our upload no image will be display perfect and then that will be the update update portfolio page okay i want to make it as update portfolio page so friend that's all okay that's all that is all that our field now there's the images field 
portfolio description field portfolio title portfolio name right now if you want to check it click as a save all and now if you go to our page uh, that means in our back end i want to refresh it okay refresh it and now if you go to our portfolio into this portfolio there is a add portfolio and in this portfolio there is an undefined variable as a about page maybe they have some of the things in here you can see there is about page right now we also don't need the input field i simply remove it now click the save all now refresh it yeah you can see it's now successfully loaded so that is a portfolio name portfolio title portfolio description will be in here and that will be our images so that is all that our database field a name title image and description perfect perfect and also if you want to check our image part like i choose one of the image yeah your image is also successfully updated great so now friend we have to do we have to insert this data right so it, that is not that update i want to do and to make it as an insert okay i want to make it as an insert insert okay insert portfolio data so i simply added as a insert portfolio data click the save all now refresh it now that should be as a insert portfolio data so now i want to do i want to insert this data okay so here if you insert it it will be very easy because i have already done this type of another job uh, like here first of all that is our route right and here from to this position i will upload that images for the reasons our multi-part form data will be needed now to create one of the route as a add or restore restore um, portfolio okay, i make it as a store portfolio store portfolio so now that type of one of the route we have to create that will be one of the post method now go to our web better i copy it and then i paste it so that will be another one as a post method and our url our url will be e store portfolio i copy it now here that will be as a e store portfolio i name it our url as a e store portfolio i want to create one of the method as a e store portfolio okay now i want to create our e store portfolio method in our portfolio controller now go to our portfolio controller here after this I name it as a public and then function and then our store portfolio great and also i make it as a and method so that will be the and method and when you pass any um, post method as i told you we have to do have to get that requested data so that that will be the request and then the dollar request right so i simply loaded that request and dollar request great so if you want to add some of the validation before insert that data if you want to add some of the validation how can do this work better want to continue this process in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video